Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Neo Charles, man. Um, today is September fifth, two thousand sixteen, six thirty-five p.m. Man, I had an issue today. Um, this old website I was doing work on about what two years ago, two or three years ago. Excuse me. Um, I had this message. I went to Google search for, it, and it said this site may harm your computer. I'm like, you know, WTF? Like I'm I'm pissed off. So I said, how do I go about fixing this? Um. Sometimes you could contact your host provider, they could fix it. If not, you have to do it. I seen the Google videos, uh like when you click this, it like takes you to this stuff and I couldn't really get it straight. So I seen this video around the web that kinda was uh very good. So I decided to do my own to help people because they weren't talking on it, they were just showing uh captions of it. So Let's go ahead and get started on basically how to go about doing this. So what you want to do is actually visit the harmful site. Actually go on the harmful site. So um, we're going to go ahead and click on the domain. Let's see. Let's do it this way. Right here. This is what will come up right here. Click on details, then click on visit this unsafe site, and click details, then do it again. So now, now you're actually on your site. So what you need to do is to log into WordPress. Okay, now we're in WordPress. What I need you to do is go ahead to plugins and add a new plugin. This plugin is pretty good. Type in anti right here, and it'll bring it up and this is the plugin you need to install right here anti-malware security and brute force firewall i don't know when you'll be looking at this video it might be a later date than um september 5th 2016. um you want to activate it once you activate it click on anti-malware on the side and right here this is the domain hit this checkbox and do run complete scan it might take a couple minutes so i'm gonna just actually just sit through the process and show y'all what's about to happen. Man, that junk says four minutes. Okay, you see, it already s started finding potential threats. All right, I'm gonna just pause the video real quick and then come back when it finished. All right, guys, we're back. That was quick. Took a couple minutes. As you see, 100%. These are the files that are infected. So what you gotta do is actually click on the file, and it's gonna bring this up. Then click this box here. Once you click it, scroll down until you see some highlighted material. I want to take your time. It's going to be highlighted. Looking for some blue highlights. And this right here will mess with your eyes a little bit. Oh, there it is. See that whole line there? You want to copy that line. This is the line you need to take out out of this folder. So what we need to do is log into your hosting pro um, provider. I use Bluehost. Uh, some of y'all have HostGator, Beyond Hosting, whatever hosting company you use. Go ahead and log in. All right, you're gonna be on your C panel. Then where you want to go next is the file manager. It might look different if you're on a different um, hosting provider. Click on file manager. Once you go to file manager. You want to go to the actual domain that um, the file is in or that you're troubleshooting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Public HTML. And I'm going to go to the domain. Okay, here is the domain. And let's see what folder that was. WP admin includes class PC zip. So we need to go to WP admin includes. Let's see. 
SWP admin. SWP admin includes, and then the file is class dash pzl zip. Some files will be different. Like I said, you'll know what the files are by looking up here. colors and stuff I'm gonna just use the edit feature it's just gonna look like plain text and we're gonna do control F to find and we're gonna paste that code that we have seen over here you're gonna copy it and put it in here now that we find it we're gonna take it away take all this off all right I'm gonna close it hit save All right, once it's saved, all right, success, go back here, and when you click that folder again, it should be actually gone. See, no threats are found, so we did that. So you're going to do the same thing for every single one that you have, so let's go to the next one. WP content, all right click it click the number and actually find the code all right see here this one is down here so we're gonna right click copy we have the code now we need to go to this actual folder so content plugin jetpack let's go back So it is W content plugin. So um, W content plugin jetpack jetpack INC post message dot JS. Edit. All right. Do Control F and paste the code in up here. There it is. What you want to do? Go ahead and eliminate that whole section. Exit out. Save. Once you do that, go back. When you close this and reopen it, as you see, no threats are found. It's gone. So next one click here find the box find the blue oh, oh, here it is right here so copy This is WP content plugin to share this. and then share this again edit we're gonna do control F put the code in right up here there it is remove it save all right once that's save go back close this click it says it has another one so let's hit this let's find the other one oh, 
there it is copy so that was in the same folder so just go back control F right click paste there it is remove it save Okay, go back to it, close it out and reopen it, should be gone. No threats are found. So you kind of understand what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pause the video real quick. Go ahead and do all these and then show y'all what to do after this. Give me a second. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just did all the uh, files. It took a little time. So let's go through it. As you see, no threats are found. 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 Uh, matter of fact, I had a um, thing to tell you. Update. You remember when it had a one up here? There was a file that had a one and a two. When I clicked one, it showed me one. Then I had to go back. It just had the two. I clicked two. Then I took the other one out. So um, that's how I had to do that. No threat. No threats are found. No threats are found. No threats are found. No threats are found. And no threats are found. So once that is done, um, you could like, I guess, do another test if you want to. If not, you could continue forward. Let's run a complete scan again. And let's see what it says this time. So I'm going to pause the video real quick so it could do its full scan. Okay, we're back. And um, as you see right now, we actually have no threats, nothing showing up down here. So that means we're actually good on this end. You cleaned up all your um, the um, malicious uh, wear that was up here. So now the next thing you want to do is when you go to Google and you go to your site. Let's just do this. See how it says this site may harm your computer. You want to get rid of that. So what you need to do is to go to... Um, Google Webmaster Tools and click right here and then if you're not logged in you got the login if not um, click that little link that said this may harm and you, and then you get to this then what you want to do is click on manage property add or remove user no my bad go back you want to click it security issues then after that, scroll down and says, I have fixed this issue. Submit a request. And let's put, hey, Google Webmasters, I have removed all all harmful content. You please scan my site and remove as soon as possible hey google webmaster i have removed all harmful content can you please scan my site and remove as soon as possible then submit your review and you're pretty much done after you do that you just have to wait uh they say it takes normally uh roughly 24 hours and once that happens you should be good to go um you should be good to go so within 24 hours check your site and everything should be good this right here should be gone if not you know do it again so with that being said i hope this video helped you out um with that with also with that being said subscribe to the channel more videos to come out and i also make money from home so you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh join my fan page all of that will be in the description below or somewhere in this video Peace. All right, y'all. We're back. This is Neil Charles back for an update video from the last time about uh, the site has been harmed or the site has a virus when it shows up in the Google searches on your website. Well, actually, I just got an email back. So let me go ahead and um, do today's date. It's September 6, um, 1:47 p.m. So it took roughly 12 hours. They fixed the problem. So I'm gonna show y'all the email. It says right here we we had reviewed this domain. Google has received and processed your security 
review requests google system indicates that your domain no longer contains links to harmful sites or downloads the warning visible to users are being removed from your site this may take a few hours to happen so they sent the email at um 3 55 a.m you know i've seen it when i woke up but i didn't do the video yet kind of late on that should have been more quick but um let's go to google and check this site out um okay as you see it's gone it's no longer there anymore so um we're pretty much good to go so that's a full complete review about how to go about um removing the virus and also it takes under it looks like it's under 24 hours for Google to do it and remove the stuff. So you're good to go. I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned.